God is good all the time. Well, it's been a long time since I've done a this and that video, or at least it seems like it has been. So here's my winter this and that. Let's get started. What I've got going on today is, first of all, I want to do a kefir or kefir update. And I want to thank those people out there that interjected on the baking soda idea for the kefir. And so um, I've been trying it and it's really, I'm really enjoying it. It's added just that little bit more that really gets it fizzy and uh, just, a, just a little more fizzy and I've really been enjoying it. And I know it's just adding a little bit more of the alkaline to my diet to help make up for some of the acidity you get. So it's, what a great idea. Now this one here might look a little gross. I just started it uh, this morning. This one is elderberry and raspberry. And so this is one of my favorite blends. This and then the, the one with the orange and the elderberry and vanilla. That one is very, very good as well. So that's been working really good. And now here's my recent, you know, just the plain with the kefir grains. And I have found, it seems like my kefir grains are really starting to get motivated again and are starting to reproduce even faster again. So I think between the baking soda, I'm starting to add a little bit of coconut sugar, at least every time I make it, you know, I don't do the whole just coconut sugar because I don't like the flavor of it as well. But if I do at least um, half and half or mostly the cane sugar, the organic blonde cane sugar with some of the coconut sugar that has a pretty nice flavor now for some reason there's a lot of things i really like coconut sugar in and some things i just don't it's one of those just funny things it depends on what it is but that seems to be a good blend and um, that way with the coconut sugar i'm getting more minerals into the kefir when i'm making it all right and then another thing i need to do today because i've been needing to do for a while because we're running pretty low is make my special popcorn seasoning this is something we don't use every time. Sometimes we just prefer the seasoned salt. And I have a video on the seasoned salt right up here. That's just our standard seasoned salt we use on just about everything. But those those times we want just that little bit of extra spice. And so I have this blend here. And I also have a video on this one. And I'll go ahead and link to it right up here as well. Now the other thing I've been doing since it's midwinter and we've been getting some really, really cold nights lately. And I did mention it in my last garden and chicken update video. And that is I've been going out and putting a little bit of, last time I used coconut oil on the chicken's combs to help prevent them from getting frostbite. And what I decided this time, and I just did it today, is I put a little bit of, um, this is the uh, Tropical Traditions Organic Palm Shortening. It's what I really prefer using when I'm making pie crust. Um, I really trust the brand and how it's made. I know there's some issues with palm shortening that might kind of freak people out. But if you look at the tropical traditions, and I'll link to them below, um, read up on it. I'm happy with them. I'm happy with what I read. Sometimes we just got to trust what we read because we can't be there in person to see if it's all really done that way. But I do believe it's a good source. So I'll link to them below. But anyway, back to what I'm saying. I decided to switch to the palm shortening for their combs because it's going to have a little more stain power. It's a little thicker. And this is also what I prefer um, to season my cast iron skillets and, and other cast iron things with. It just seems to work better, gets a really good glaze onto the uh, cast iron. And uh, man, it's, it's worked better than any oil. Plus I trust it as being a lot healthier than canola. Um, it's not as sticky as flax it tends to get sticky and olive oil can get uh, Turn rancid at high heats now. I understand the whole idea of polymerization But I still get concerned about fats that I know they're going to turn rancid when they get at a high heat So I try to stay away from olive oil for seasoning and definitely never use Crisco. So um, anyway, the organic palm shortening has been my choice for that and, uh, and then again with the chickens combs. And the funny thing about the chickens is I might have to catch them and they might not be happy about it. But once I start rubbing that into their combs, they just seem to kind of, ah, they seem to kind of enjoy that. So this is like rub, you know, scratching the dog's belly or something. You wouldn't think they would like it, but they seem to. I don't know, does any other chicken owners do that and find that their chickens seem to like that? I'm just curious if it's just mine. Well, there was one, 
one of my seven birds was not happy with it, but she just doesn't particularly like being handled, period. So anyway, um, then the other thing I'm going to do is make some more chocolate today. And this is going to be a very simple chocolate with no sugar. So this is going back to like my original recipe that I have a couple of videos out. And I will link to, I think I'll link to my most recent one because I have better lighting then. And that is where I did the pineapple coconut one. And so this is no sugar. I'm just going to use raisins and raspberries, you know, freeze dried raspberries, and then obviously dried grapes, raisins, and then the, the cacao powder and the cacao butter. And, uh, and I'm going to make some chocolate out of that. So it's going to be a good, healthy chocolate and absolutely no sugar except what's already present in the fruit itself, especially the raisins, because they're very high in uh, sugar naturally. So um, I will link to the organic raisins below. I really like these ones. Actually, I don't think these are the most current ones. I'm still trying to use up um, my older raisins that I bought, but the ones I like the, the best, see these ones are darker. The ones I like the best are some more golden colored ones I got, and I will link to those below. They just, they're organic and they're just, they're so good. They're very soft and, um, not quite as hard as some of these other ones that I get. Okay, and then right here I have all the ingredients out to make my jet fuel latte. And you can find the video on that right up here. However, what I'm going to be doing different is adding some turmeric directly to the blend. And so if you haven't seen my recent video about turmeric and black pepper, etc., etc., go check that out right here and um, you'll find some if you didn't know it already some exciting things I learned about turmeric when I finally took the time that I'd been meaning to take for a long time to really research what all we need with turmeric to make it bioavailable and so I'll be adding that to that and I won't be using black pepper and you'll find out why when you watch that video but I'm also considering adding it to my my um, spice blend here and uh, if you watch that video, you'll learn why I can add it to this spice blend and not have to worry about adding black pepper to that either. Not that I don't like black pepper, because I really do. All right, and then one more thing I've got going on is it's time to make some more popsicles. So I'm thawing out some blueberries from 2015. I keep thinking I've used up all the 2015 ones, but apparently I still have some that are two years old. So, and so I still have the 2016 and 17 ones, so we're doing good. We're staying a couple years ahead on our blueberries. And these are the ones that come from our own bushes, just growing in pots right out on our deck. So um, if you haven't seen any of my garden videos, um, maybe I'll go ahead and link to my very, one of my very first videos from a year and a half ago. And that was when I did my deck garden tour. I don't think I did one this last summer, so I'll link to that right up here and you can kind of see uh, I focused on different gardens uh, when I do my tours just because I've got so many different ones and it would take me two hours to go through all of them even in our little one-third acre but yes anyway so popsicles so I'm the fruit cream popsicles I like to make I have several videos out um, and I will link to one of them right up here I don't know which one it will be I'll just pick one and I'll link it up here but today's blend is going to be the blueberries and lemon. I love blueberries and lemon together. And then of course, um, I think I'm just gonna use goat milk and maybe add a little bit of the whole powdered milk just to make it richer because uh, I don't have any uh, whipping cream thawed out and I don't feel like messing with that. Because whenever I get it on, can find it on sale, I just buy it and freeze it up and then I us end up not using it half the time anyway. But uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, I guess that's it for today. That's my this and that. That's This is all the chores I got to do today. Well, not all of them. This is some of the chores I got to do today. Um, this is actually just a minor part. This is just kitchen-y stuff, but uh, not counting dinner. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so that's my uh, this and that uh, for winter. Hope you enjoyed this video and that maybe you learned something new. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.